Hello, everybody. Welcome to our closing industry webinar on PathStat Pro, a comprehensive solution for pipe stress analysis. We are beginning our session, and today we will talk about PathStat Pro capabilities, specifically for district heating industry. During the webinar, you will learn how PASTAT Prof can help you significantly increase your productivity, save your time, and increase the accuracy while creation of a district heating system model, its analysis, and reports generation. We will also cover new features of PASTAT Prof that will be available in the new version to be released next week. Now, I would like to invite Dr. Alex Matveev, the head of Pipe Stress Analysis Department, to start the presentation. So let me introduce myself. My name is Alex Matviev, and I'm the head of uh, the Star Prof uh, Pipe Stress Analysis Software Development Team since uh, 2005. Also, I perform trainings uh, on pipe stress analysis software and technical support. You can cut, contact me via the, the links that you can see here. This is the quick introduction into this webinar. Uh, the first part is quick introduction to PASTAR Prof software. The second part is the features of district heating pipelines, uh, district heating networks analysis using uh, PASTAR Prof software. And the third part is the features and usability of PASTAR Prof software. Uh, let me quickly introduce the what is the star prof uh, star prof is the industry standard in uh, several countries like russia kazakhstan belarus and ukraine and uh, it is widely used for the process piping uh, process industry for power industry in the gas and oil pipelines and, of course, district heating networks, design and analysis. Uh, PASTAR Prof uh, is very user-friendly software, so we it can uh, increase the speed of your design and reduce the cost. Uh, Star Prof software uh, developed since uh, 1965. Uh, we have about 2,000 active users, the companies. Uh, the user interface and documentation is on English, Chinese, and Russian. Uh, we have 32 piping codes, and we have 18 codes for wind, seismic, snow, and ice uh, loads, automatic gener generation. This is the main users, uh, the most famous users from these different industries, uh, the most uh, famous uh, international users, and uh, almost all uh, Russian companies who design the district heating networks and uh, who produce uh, the pre-insulated pipes with polyurethane insulation, uh, the manufacturers, including the, the, the most, uh, the most uh, known and the most famous uh, Mosflow line company, use uh, PASTAR Pro software. Uh, what is the benefits of uh, PASTAR Pro? This is the direct support from developers via email, uh, the software is very easy to learn, this is very easy to use, and uh, it has very intuitive, modern, object-oriented user interface. And PASTAR Prof is the part of the PAS suite uh, that consists of several software. It's uh, pipe stress analysis software, hydraulic and thermal analysis that is also used for this heating network analysis nozzle FAM and equip for different type of equipment analysis. Uh, so PASTAR Prof is uh, very easy to use, as I said, and it, 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 it allows you to hit the result uh, quicker. 
and you will spend less time for model creation uh, analysis of this model. Uh, the codes that is uh, widely used for distichidian network analysis uh, and what is included in the past star prof software you can see here in this list. Uh, uh, many years we had the ghost code for distichidian networks. Uh, several years we have Chinese codes uh, and also in this new, new version, we added the European code for the distichidian network analysis. So let me tell you the quick, uh, quickly tell you the history of the distichidian design in, in uh, Russia. Uh, since uh, 1965, uh, the Handbook, Nikolaev's handbook was very popular for design of the distichidian networks. And it was divide the uh, pipelines into several sections like uh, uh, L-shaped loop, the U-shaped loop, and the uh, Z-shaped loop. So the distichidian networks was look like this, as you can see on this picture. Um, uh, since 1998, uh, the buried, uh, directly bu buried uh, uh, underground pre insulated pipelines with polyurethane uh, foam insulation began to be widely used in Russia. Uh, and uh, also the Peter Randolph handbook became very popular uh, worldwide uh, since 1997. But uh, the complex uh, design of the uh, distichidian systems can be analyzed using the, that simple method with uh, division of the all, all the piping system and a simple simple components like U, L, and Z shape loops. And uh, the StarProf software became more and more popular for uh, design and analysis of such uh, systems. And also the dire directly buried uh, pipelines, uh, distichidian pipelines, was uh, impossible to analyze using the, that handbook, the Nikolaev handbook. And most companies change uh, their design in, uh, and used uh, the past star prof software. For example, uh, the, the main problems uh, usually happen in the, the T's and also some accidents was happening. You can see here how does the T works. This is the underground chamber uh, with the intersection of two pipe, distichidian pipelines. This is the stress level and you can see that T element is the, yeah, we have the problem with the T element because the stresses in the T element are great. And uh, the simple manual methods uh, can't allow you to, check the stress in the T's bands uh, and other elements. And you can't check the fatigue uh, analysis of uh, this Tikidin network. So some accidents was happening time to time with this Tikidin networks and many companies turned to use the more, more accurate uh, computer analysis uh, design and uh, change the design to using the star prof software. Here is the example of the buried distichidian network. Uh, in past star prof software, you can see that the soil is modeled using the special soil springs. The underground, here is the underground chamber with uh, intersection of the pipelines, the valves, Uh, so there are a lot of distichidian projects in Russia. Uh, the diameters is from 
about 200 millimeters to 1.4 meters and uh, almost all uh, these Takeda networks now now are designed using the best star pro software in uh, Russia, Kazakhstan, Ukraine and Belarus. And also since uh, 2015 uh, the China joined uh, the uh, Society of uh, Star Prof users, and now a lot of uh, Distikidian projects uh, in China uh, performed using past Star Prof software. Here is the one of one of them. It is uh, the long Distikidian network uh, with the diameter 1.2 meters, uh, temperature. 150 uh, degrees Celsius and the pressure 1.6 MPa. Uh, this is a very long pipe uh, pipeline because the uh, power power stations uh, in China are all, uh, usually placed uh, uh, out of the city. It is not inside the city. It is not allowed, and it is placed outside the city. So the distillation pipelines are very long. And also, this is another example. Uh, this is the uh, buried hot water piping network project that was uh, done using best star prof software for the Beijing Universal Amusement Park. Uh, here is the that network. It is a very huge network. Uh, also, we perform a lot of trainings over our software. This is uh, some of them. Uh, we had about uh, one, 100 uh, attenders for each training. Uh, so now uh, PESTAR Prof is widely used in more than 800 companies in China, Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, and Kazakhstan. Uh, for this hidden network analysis. Uh, StarProf has all the needed uh, capabilities to design an analysis of the uh, buried uh, distic hidden networks. Uh, we had the uh, special algorithms, nonlinear analysis of gaps, friction, one day restraints, soil springs, everything that is needed to perform pipe stress analysis of distic heating networks. We have a special generator of the uh, external loads from the snow, wind, ice, seismic. Uh, and uh, due to 18 national codes, uh, also, with integration with hydro system software, we can calculate the uh, effect, uh, hydraulic effect like water hammer. So let's talk about the uh, buried model. The, the, the model that is used for uh, buried uh, pipeline analysis in past star pro software. Uh, the continuous uh, soil resistance is replaced by the discrete springs that is placed along the pipeline. Uh, to save the machine time, uh, the computer analysis time and uh, the memory, we use the special algorithm that divide uh, all the a piping system into three zones. The first zone is lateral bearing zone, where the bending moments are great. Uh, the length of the zone is calculated automatically by a past star prof. So uh, we, we place a lot of uh, springs at that zone. So the springs are condensed in that zone. The second zone with less condensation of the uh, soil springs. This is the sliding zone. In that zone, star prof place less springs and the third zone is restraint zone. But uh, actually in this hidden networks, the restraint zone um, are not happening because in restraint zone, 
due to high temperature uh, of the district heating networks, uh, the stresses are usually greater than allowable. So the restraint zones usually are not uh, happening. Uh, it can happen only just uh, if the temperature is not so high and uh, special methods uh, like um, a single use uh, compensator or uh, preheating analysis method was used. So in the restraint zone, the pipe doesn't move. Uh, the thermal expansion is zero because it is balanced by the friction forces in the sliding zone. And the pipe behavior like uh, the pipe that is restrained between two anchors. And in in uh, such type of zone, Pestaprof place um, the soil springs with a distance of 100 diameters. Also, we have, we have the long radius pipe bands. And uh, for example, in Russia, it is not usually, it is not used for district hidden networks, but in China, it is very popular because uh, district hidden networks are very long and uh, lying near the roads. Uh, and uh, they use uh, the long radius bands uh, uh, very widely. We have two types of long radius bands. It is the uh, ordinary long radius band that uh, can hold its shape. If you the place with band on the ground surface, it will still remain the band. But uh, we have also the pre-stressed long radius band. Uh, if you will cut this band from the pipeline and put it on the surface, uh, it will tend to uh, return to its original straight uh, form. Uh, so it has the initial bending moments inside the, inside the band that try to open it, like, like you can see on this uh, picture. And also it uh, adds additional stresses in such bands. Uh, the soil model, how, how, how does the soil spring works? We have uh, uh, free soil springs. It's a longitudinal soil spring. It's a vertical and horizontal soil spring. The horizontal soil spring consists of three springs. Uh, first one, uh, model the polyurethane foam insulation flexibility. The second spring, model the expansion, uh, expansion cushion uh, or expansion pad. Uh, flexibility uh, in Pestar Prof, you can just uh, select do you have the cushion on this uh, pipe or not, and Star Prof will add this spring if needed. And the third spring model the horizontal soil resistance. The same uh, the same situation is for vertical spring. And uh, axle spring doesn't have the polyurethane foam flexibilities. It is just the soil flexibility uh, along the piping, along, along the pipeline. Uh, Star Prof uh, automatically calculate the uh, polyurethane foam insulation flexibility and automatically calculate the expansion cushion flexibility. So you don't have to care about it. You just need to select uh, which type of insulation uh, you're using and uh, you need to select uh, do you have the expansion cushion on this uh, part of pipe or not. And about the soil model. Uh, this is the axle soil spring property uh, that is used for modeling of the soil spring. And also we have another model for district heating networks. Uh, also, Starprof allows you to choose which type of lane you're using. Is it open trench or trenchless? And uh, if you're using the trenchless method, like uh, horizontal directional drilling, uh, Starprof will also consider the special natural edge collapse phenomena about the piping, about the pipeline. This is the properties of the 
horizontal uh, horizontal spring soil spring this is the properties of the vertical soil spring uh, it is three linear soil spring and uh, at this point the the distance is the depth of the of, of the pipe axis to the surface to the soil surface this is the l value and this is a, the l value too so then pipe goes up and uh, get out of the soil the soil resistance became zero Uh, Staprof can analyze uh, the pipes with different soil depth on the uh, uh, two ends of the pipe. So you can specify the depth on one end and the second end. And Staprof will model it automatically. It will calculate the properties of each soil spring automatically depending on the depth for individual, individual depth for each soil spring, uh, including the vertical pipes. Also StarProf model allows to model the pipe with any angle from the horizontal to vertical. It automatically convert the soil properties to model the uh, inclined pipes, vertical pipes, uh, so most of the soil models are usually designed only for horizontal pipes and some of them doesn't have the properties for vertical springs. Uh, so StarProf uh, include the soil model that has this ability. In one model, you can analyze both the above ground and underground uh, uh, pipelines uh, in the same model uh, and also it, it can consist of inclined pipes vertical pipes and no problem so you just need to draw your piping system your district heating network we have above ground pipes with underground pipes and stop rope will automatically analyze it uh, stop prof has the soil database that contain the soil properties uh, uh, and also it has the the sand properties that is usually used for in the district heating networks and also StarProf can check the stresses here you can see the stress table according to en code one three nine four one this this European code and uh, here you can see the force controlled action membrane stress stresses the calculate stress and allowable stress the uh, membrane and bending stresses force controlled here uh, the stepwise plastic deformation it's uh, uh, forces and deformation controlled stresses here and it can calculate the low cycle fatigue. This is the expansion stresses. So all type of stresses automatically checked in past pro software. The load cases uh, are created automatically for these decaying networks. So you just need to draw your piping model and run the analysis. And also StarProf check the buckling effect according to European code. Uh, and uh, offer you the buckling check report for all the pipes in, in your system. Starprof has the uh, uh, has the ability to enter the number of cycles for different type of pipelines: is transmission, distribution, and house connections. You can enter the number of cycles. And for each pipe, you can specify the type of pipeline. Is it transmission, distribution, or house? So you can analyze the whole district hidden networks that can include all type of uh, 
pipelines, uh, houses, uh, distribution networks, and transmission networks. So you can analyze everything in one model. And also Staprof has the database with uh, polyurethane insulation pre-insulated pipes according to the standards and uh, to the, uh, for, for the manufacturer catalogs of uh, different manufacturers. It, it is the ghost uh, Russian catalog and Chinese national standard and the uh, popular log store, uh, power pipe and other standards. Uh, Staprof can analyze the uh, ring bending stresses in the in the pipeline. Uh, to do this, Staprof calculate the the loads from the soil pressure over the uh, pipe perimeter, and Staprof create the special finite element model of the pipe cross section with the loads applied around this cross section. This cross section also include the polyurethane foam layer insulation around the pipe. And it automatically uh, uh, consider the uh, pressure stiffening effect. Uh, so this finite element model is nonlinear. Uh, when the internal pressure is very high, it tend to open the pipe uh, to the pipe tend to became a circle cross section. And if the pressure is zero, it overlies, uh, so it became elliptical. Uh, this effect uh, automatically considered to. Here you can see the bending moments diagram in the uh, pipe cross section. And this is the iteration process. How does the iterations done inside the PASTAR prof? And you can see here that some springs are switched off. Uh, the soil is modeled using the uh, special springs around the soil springs around the pipe cross section, but that springs should work only for compression. The compression happening in this zone. This is compression zone, and this is tension zone. In this zone, the soil springs are automatically switched off. So this model is uh, uh, very accurate for uh, bending stress calculation. And this stress is used in the European code for district hidden networks and automatically considered during the stress calculation. Also, Staprof can analyze the stresses in polyurethane foam insulation. Here you can see the stresses in insulation. Uh, this is very important because the friction forces that is acting on the insulation uh, must be passed from the insulation to the steel pipe ins inside the insulation. Uh, the, that forces are very high and uh, the insulation must be glued to the steel pipe very strongly. The adhesion uh, should be very strong because uh, it need to hold the great, uh, the great forces. And also it, uh, you, you, the water should not uh, come in between the insulation and the steel pipe. So Staprof check the stresses according to the EN253 code automatically uh, and use some results from the cross-section nonlinear uh, finite element model calculation and also from the uh, beam element uh, pipeline model calculation, combine it and calculate the equivalent stresses and tangent stresses in hoop direction and in axial direction of the pipe. So Staprof check the insulation stress. Also Staprof can analyze the insulation and pi pipe and insulation under the external loads on the uh, ground surface. Uh, from, for example, for from the heavy trucks uh, above the pipe. Uh, 
Also, star prof can take into account the preheating and the single use compensator. We have a special option where you can just select which type of uh, pre do you have the preheating or single use compensator. So it's very easy to use. And also star prof can calculate the distance between uh, the single use compensators. So let me demonstrate it into, in the star prof software. I just open the star prof. Here are the some examples. Here, this is the examples of district heating networks in past star prof. Let me show you the single use compensator model. This is a very si simple model, the very simple model. I choose the European code for the district heating I choose the single use compensator. This temper we lock this expansion joint. We weld it, and it is not working anymore after after we locking it. So let's perform the analysis of this system. You can see the soil springs along the pipeline, and you can see the stress table, the stresses according to the European code is okay, no problem. You can move your mouse over any cell like this, and you will see all the equations that is used according to the European code to calculate the stresses. And expansion stresses. So you can check all the calculations manually if you if you want. Uh, if uh, you have any problems here, Star Prof will draw this uh, cell using red color. And check report. Here is the buckling check. Everything is okay here too. No problems. And this is the expansion joint deformations. You can see the axial deformation and allowable deformation of this uh, single use compensator. So let's remove the single use compensator here. I will remove it from this model and run analysis again without single use compensator. Now you can see that we have the problems with the stresses. Let's check buckling. We have problem with buckling. So single use compensator help us a lot. And also I, I undo changes, return back the single use compensator and let me change the locking temperature. I can change it from 65 degrees to for example, 20 degree. Run the analysis and you can see that we also have some problems with stresses. So uh, the locking temperature should be the temperature between the uh, installation temperature and operation temperature divided by two, like this. This, this temperature is the locking temperature of the uh, single use compensators. Another example of a preheating analysis. This is the model, sample model that can demonstrate how to perform the preheating analysis. Here is the preheating method was chosen. And in operation mode editor, we have two operation modes. The first mode is without preheating and the second mode is with preheating. Here is, there is no preheating and here is preheating. And we can compare two models 
and compare the results. So let uh, the analysis is already done. So I will just show you the results. This is the stresses. Oh, they was clean. So I need to run analysis. Okay, analysis this is done. This is the deformed shape of this pipeline. This is the first one. This is normal, normal way without preheating. You can see this is installation state and this is operation state and cold state. So this is installation state, operation and cold state. And if I will change the model to preheating, you can see another results. This is the installation state, operation state and cold state. As you can see the difference, this is preheating and this is without preheating. The difference is significant. So all the model is calculated with preheating. Now let's check results. Here is the normal way. We have problem with stresses and also we have problem with buckling stresses. But if we change to preheating, all the problems are gone. No problems now. And let's check stress normal way. We have problem and preheating. No problem. So preheating help to reduce the stresses and support loads in the piping system. It is and it is very e easy to activate it in best star prof. And another samples. Let me show you. This is the Universal Studios in Beijing uh, heating network, uh, Beijing, China for Universal Studios Park. It is very huge heating network. So let's, okay, here is it. Okay, this is the heating network very huge. Uh, you can see the expansion joints here, expansion loops here, uh, the valves, very huge heating network. And it, this, this is not the uh, fi final results. In, in the final system, uh, the uh, connections like this was used everywhere. But this is just intermediate results. Uh, connections like this uh, is not working for these hidden networks. So this is not final version of this network. Uh, we turn to that type of connections at every point. And also let's check the deformed shape of this network. Okay. I remove the installation state line and we can run analysis. This is the deformed shape of that distic hidden network. And also you can check the insulation stresses they are not passing right right now here because as I said, this is not final version of this model. In the final model, everything is okay. But here we have the problem with uh, equivalent stresses in insulation. And we have a lot of other examples. Let me show you just one, another, another one example. This is the distic hidden network pump station in China. that was analyzed using PESTAPROF software. 
and let me show you you the soil surface above the underground part and this is above ground part this is the pump station there is a lot of pumps here and let me show you the diameter of this pipe you can see the diameter is 1.4 meters it's very huge diameter pipe and it was analyzed using star prof and the cross sections was this this is done automatically in past star prof and now i will show you the deformed shape of this this hidden system this is the pump station and this is the underground network this is not final model two uh, in the the real model we have a very uh, i don't have the final model of this piping system okay so let's return to our slideshow uh, here is the diagram of the stresses or axial forces in the pipeline uh, then we're using the single use compensators and the diagram when we use the preheating. Also Star Prof uh, automatically use the uh, friction, full friction for uh, hot load and half friction for cooling. So we automatically analyze it and with this add us the additional safety margin because the expansion range, expansion stress range became greater. And uh, Star Prof automatically uh, calculate the cold state. Uh, for example, we have installation state, operation state when pi pipe heating up. And when the pipe is cooling down, it is never returned to original installation state because the friction forces change their direction. And in cold state, we'll, we will still have the very huge friction forces, especially for buried piping systems for underground piping. This is very important uh, to calculate the accurate uh, stress range. So Starprof done this automatically. And this is especially important for district heating networks. The, this is the expansion range between installation state and operation state, this one. And this one is the expansion stress range between cold state and operation state and it is the greatest so we need to consider the uh, friction forces in the cold state of the piping system uh, we have the database with insulation uh, diameters of the most uh, famous manufacturers of uh, district heating pipelines Uh, like the ghost, Russian ghost code, uh, because all the manufacturers in Russia follow the ghost code. Uh, the second one is China's national standard. And uh, the next one is lock store, power pipe, and others. Uh, we have the database, so the material database that is including all the European materials in our database, uh, including the materials that is used for district heating network design. Uh, this database can, uh, it contain the properties of the material depending on the wall thickness that is required by the European standards. So Star Prof will automatically select the uh, appropriate uh, material properties depending on the wall thickness you don't have to do this manually just select the material and select the manufacturing methods it's seamless or welded and star probe will automatically consider everything else also star probe 
can analyze uh, some special effects like uh, soil subsidence, landslides, uh, seismic fault crossing. This was very important for China because there, there, there are a lot of seismic zones and district heating networks cross that zones. So StarProf allows to do that. You can define the soil movements uh, in, at the beginning of the pipe and at the end of the pipe uh, in any direction and uh, use it to model the, the effect that you can see here. Also StarProf in the latest version, StarProf can analyze the seismic uh, wave propagation effect according to several standards, including the Chinese standards, uh, United States uh, standards and Russian standards. Uh, you just need to select the seismic analysis and select the uh, buried pipeline seismic analysis. So StarProf can now perform the seismic analysis for buried pipelines, for underground pipelines. You just need to select the standard. Uh, what is the wave propagation effect? When you have a long pipeline, uh, the P wave, it's a longitudinal seismic wave, passed through the soil and uh, it caused the forces in the pipeline. Uh, the comp it has the compression zones and tension zones. Uh, the friction forces between the pipeline and the soil uh, reduce this effect. So it, it, be, it uh, make it much better uh, and stop off use the, these equations to calculate the strains in the pipeline during the seismic wave propagation. Especially the most important points it's the branches of the pipeline because the branches can't slide along the pipeline uh, uh, along the soil. There is no, uh, the, uh, the friction forces can't help it and uh, it moves along with the soil during the passage of the uh, seismic wave along the pipeline. So the most, uh, the most of problems are happen in the branches. Uh, StarProf allows you to design the branch which will hold the seismic wave. This is the method that is used uh, for seismic wave analysis. You can specify the peak velocity value peak ground acceleration, uh, parent propagation velocity of P wave and for S wave. Uh, how to define that values you can find in the, our help system. You can just uh, open our help system and find the answers for your questions in that help system. Uh, another one, after the analysis, StarProf allows you to automatically check the strains in your pipeline. Let me, okay. Uh, in the pipeline, according to several standards. So if you choose the AC code, StarProf will check using AC code. If you check uh, Chinese or Russian code, StarProf will use that codes for checking all the seismic wave propagation effect. Okay, uh, so now let's talk about PathStarProf usability. Uh, the PathStarProf software is an object-oriented software and you can build your piping model from the objects uh, like Lego. The objects can be the pipes, for pipe objects, you can define different coordinate systems. It can be projections or it can be cylindrical uh, coordinate system that is uh, more convenient for using in district heating networks. And also uh, you can select any type of object, for example, bent object and put it in, in the StarProf uh, model. We have T objects reducer objects, valve objects, uh, pump objects, uh, expansion joint objects, 
uh, the special type of expansion joints, it is the torsion expansion joint with the friction moment and the slip joint with the friction force that is widely used in district heating networks. Uh, they have flange object that automatically check the uh, flange leakage. Uh, Star Prof can consider the insulation weight uh, automatically if you input the insulation thickness and density, or you can choose the insulation from uh, the database. For example, this database contains insulation weight for uh, the district heating pre insulated pipe manufacturers. We have, uh, we have all the needed types of the uh, uh, supports in SPES Star Prof. Also, we have a non standard, uh, non -standard support that, can, that consists of six supports free rotational and free and free linear restraints. And you can create your own support and then copy it. It, it, it will be uh, the one object that will con uh, contain several restraints inside that object. Uh, that object. Uh, you can easily define the displacement of the supports. You don't need to, to uh, use any special tricks. You just add the displacement for a support and Star Prof will take it into account. You can define the cold spring. The cold spring is widely used for district hidden networks too, especially for above ground district hidden networks. So you can easily add the cold spring. Star Prof allows you to calculate the wall thickness of the pipe, wall thickness of the band element and uh, for reducer according to the district hidden codes. You can analyze the distance between supports, the stability analysis, the buckling analysis. Uh, you can check the in stress and insulation uh, for uh, uh, buried pipelines. Uh, and also we have a special, special feature, especially for these ticketed networks. Some companies like uh, the manual methods like uh, Nikolaev's uh, handbook, like uh, Lockstore uh, guidelines, like uh, uh, other handbook guidelines. They uh, have the special equations how to calculate the U-shaped loop, Z-shaped uh, uh, piping loop, and uh, the L-shaped piping loop. So Star Prof allows you to do the same job, but uh, using the finite element method. You just uh, select the type of your piping loop, specify all needed values and star profile calculated. Sometimes some companies use this for quick, quick estimation uh, of a heating network. Uh, but after using this quick estimation, they perform the real analysis using the main core of the star prof for pipe stress analysis. Here are the reports that you will receive after, after the analysis. It's a pipe stress, insulation stress, seismic stress, flow stress, restraint loads, nozzle and equipment loads, displacements, expansion joint deformations. Uh, Star Prof will automatically check the expansion joint deformations, the buckling check and flange leakage check. The reports can be copied to Microsoft Excel, to Word. Also, we have the free viewer. If you will design your network, you can send it to the customer and customer can download the free viewer, open your network and check the design in 3D and check the results. This is how interactive reports uh, looks like. This is the loads report displacement. You can easily check the access from global access to pipe support legs uh, access or pipe or pipe uh, local access uh, here are the stresses you can move your mouse button i already shown it, the, that to you and you will see all the equations what was used to calculate stresses they have a special error and warning messages and uh, your goal is to remove all the red 
messages from this uh, from this uh, window. This means that uh, you well, you don't have any problems anymore. If you see the red messages, this means that you have some problems in your system. The messages happen happening before analysis or after analysis. This is a, a feature that uh, many of um, expert companies who approve the distributed network design in Russia, they like this window very much because we just ask uh, the design companies to offer the star prof project file to them. And then they run this, this file using the latest version of star prof. And if uh, we don't see any problems here, uh, they are satisfied. Uh, uh, also, they check the design of the heating network in StarProf, and they check the accuracy of input data in StarProf, how accurate it was, uh, the, the piping system was modeled. And every, if everything is okay, they approve the design project of this heating network. Uh, the Software is very reliable. Uh, we uh, we automatically verify all, each version of our software um, on more than uh, 300 examples uh, and compare it with the previous version of the software to avoid any any bugs in the software. Also, we have a special focus group of uh, Pipe stress expert who test each uh, release of StarProf, and also after each release, uh, before each release, uh, the perform pass StarProf trainings, and uh, each release pass uh, through about one to three pipe stress trainings with the uh, group of students uh, from ten to twenty students who learn our software, how to use it. And if we will find any bugs, we'll just fix it before official release. And also after the official release, as we have a lot of users of our software. So if we will find any bug, we uh, immediately report us and we fix it very quickly and uh, offer the next release. So the pipe stress software is very reliable. Okay, Marina. Thank you, Alex. Thank you for your meaningful presentation and impressive examples. And I would like to say that we will start the Q&A session shortly. And before we do that, um, I would like to let our participants know what other resources we have uh, about Pastor Prof and other solutions included in the past suite. Uh, we have a website where you can see the information about our software and download a free trial version. Uh, we have a YouTube channel with the list of uh, many useful videos. Yes, we have uh, official groups in social media, so you can see the links to our groups there. <clears throat> and besides, we have a lot of articles and most of them have been written by uh, Alex. So you can see the link where you can read uh, the information, the detailed information about past that prof. Um, and also, we have a lot, many, many more resources and we continue to add some new content. So please follow up uh, us in uh, social media. Thank you, Alex. Uh, thank you, dear participants for joining us today. Uh, I hope you also enjoyed the webinar. Um, if you have any other questions, please send them to the specified uh, email addresses that you see on the screen and i would like to wish you all uh, a good rest of the day and hope to see you uh, during our next webinars <laughs>